that is the one for us that are important. Okay, that's a good thing. Uh, I wanted to mention that we have a physical group today from Pennsylvania. He's on his way home from North Carolina. He's on his way home to Pennsylvania from North Carolina. He's on his way home to Pennsylvania. He's on his way home to Pennsylvania. And he's a good person to him. He's a good person to him. He's a good person to him. So, he knows his way. Thanks. Also, I told you earlier in the week that uh, the mystery for much description can be a thing that's a lot. I'm going to do a music for you, and I'm going to work in the suit. We are going to be having fun. Well, a few of these things are going to be in our response to all the work. My heart of God is still fast. I will sing and make music and tell my soul. Awake, help and run. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the people. For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Please let pray with me and meet you. Come, my light. And eliminate my darkness. Come, my life, and revive me from death. Come, my physician, and heal my wounds. Come, flame of divine love, and bring up the flames of my sins, filling my heart with the flame of thy love. Come, my king, set upon the throne of my heart and reign there. For thou alone art my king and my lord. Amen. If you please join me now, all together, we're singing hymn number 276, Great is Thy Faithful. Thank you. 
I need a person to confess your sin. Let us confess our sin, calling to God's transforming power. Merciful God, we confess that we have not allowed your grace to set us free. We fear that we are not good enough. We hear your word of love freely given to us, yet we expect others to own it. We turn the church inward rather than leaving it out. Forgive us, spare us, reform us to be a church powered by love, willing to speak for what is right, ask for what is just, and seek for the need of your whole creation. Amen. God knows our cry and sends the Spirit to come to us and empower our lives in the world. Our sins are forgiven. God's love is unconditional and we will raise up as God's people. We will always be made new in the name of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. In Jesus Christ, we are made new.
Good job, Courtney. Thank you. This is the only way so many words can make a couple of times. It sounds sensitive. Not the song, the song, but, you know, 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 the then you didn't even see it, and you're saying some word twice, but if you don't see it well, you probably have to stand up to the next. If you don't see it well, you can't get it. It's okay. Thank you. 
Yeah, it's a very pretty song. Our scripture lesson, our first scripture lesson today is in Psalm number 107. It's the first verse. I mean, yes, it's just the first of them, that verse in line, and then it's the other two, verse 23. Psalm 107. I give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the beginning of the Lord say so. Those who redeem from trouble and go to them from the land, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to an inhabited town. Hungry and thirsty, their souls stayed within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way until they reached an inhabited town. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to be found. For he satisfies the thirsty and the hungry he fills with good things. In chapter 23. Let those who are wise give heed to these things, and he fills the steadfast love of the Lord. I but indeed, it's the least of all things the one that is grown and is the greatest among the earth. And become a king, so that the birds of the air come and the moths and the birds of the air. Thank you. 